Brownsville continues citing restaurants violating safety orders. CBS 4's Joanna Guzman tells us why the city lowered their capacity compared to the rest of the county. Brownsville restaurants may be cooperating when it comes to capacity limits, but authorities say they're lacking the most important rules. Most of our citations deal with other uh, other violations of the order, such as a, like a distancing uh, measurement or facial covering uh, requirements. According to Mayor Trey Mendez, police are citing at least two different restaurants daily. The city of Brownsville is enforcing uh, all measures in our latest amended order, which is the 11th amended order. And part of that includes a 25% occupancy limit for uh, restaurants, gyms, uh, bingo halls, and bowling alleys. Uh, we do uh, believe that it's enforceable and we have been enforcing it. Mendez says the city's occupancy limit is 25% less than the county's because Brownsville is considered one of the most vulnerable cities in the state. We've had the benefit of having some, uh, some world-renowned uh, experts in, um, in infectious diseases and looking at the data and the statistics and, and seeing uh, what other places have done, we need to get uh, control of the virus without uh, shutting the whole place down. Cameron County Judge Eddie Trevino applauds restaurants for following orders. A lot of this was, is being done on the honor system. But Mendez says the city intends to continue strict enforcement. I think the judge may be referring possibly to uh, maybe a countywide Order. I'm not sure what he's talking about, quite honestly, but uh, the Brownsville orders are being enforced by Brownsville. And Mendes believes this is the best option to keep businesses open and people safe. Working for you in Brownsville, I'm Joanna Guzman. Officials say restaurants are adapting and can continue doing curbside when they've reached their capacity.